Alright, I'm going to start this one out, um, like most of them, with fixing some messes. Um, things just seem to happen sometimes, I guess. Uh, I have a problem with the wing that I've noticed. You may not have this issue, but I'm going to do it on camera because that's, that's kind of the idea of this whole thing I'm doing. Um, and also, I really should have brought this, this down one more. So, I'm going to do that first. Um, use the same idea, I think. Let me get up here to the polys. Okay. I'm going to start by deleting the next two runs here of polys. And I'm going to grab this edge. I'm going to hit loop. And it selected everything up to here. Make sure I'm not selecting these two. Alright, this is not easy. Just all clicking on those to get rid of them. Alright, I'm going to just drag this out. And drag it out one more time. to target weld and weld this second edge here and that'll seal it all down. Alright, now I'm going to select all of these verts and I'm going to collapse and target weld them down. I'm going to weld it down here. So now we're just left with this bit of a mess. So, I'm going to take out any curvature that's in in these first. By using the scale tool, I'm just drag it down. Okay, and I'm going to get into the left orthographic. It should be L and use the U key. Line this up first, and slide it up. And it's, it's like this so it can help me create the um, exhaust thing here. There's going to be a, a hole in the, the cowl for an exhaust. <clears throat> so. Alright, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move my attention to this wing. And um, you can see by the smoothing groups here, you can see these shading errors. And I know I've smoothed this wing. So. <clears throat> searching for the problem, it becomes obvious that this whole thing is kind of a mess. So, I'm going to first delete this here, and delete this thin poly that somehow got created. Okay, and I'm going to take this vert and this vert and I'm going to scale them together right over top of one another. Okay, and then I'm going to take this guy here. <coughs> Excuse me, and move that down. Um, I can get rid of this face too. No. Alright, so the first thing I need to fix is this here. So I'm going <coughs> to drag this out. And I'll select these two verts and I'm going to collapse those. And I'll target weld to this point here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use the border tool to select all of this and cap it. But I will select these two corners. And when I connect those, they'll seal that up automatically. Just for good measure, let's connect that. So now I need to set these into the correct smoothing groups. <clears throat> so this new poly needs to be set into one. And let's see, what do I have set over here? That's smoothing group two. I'm going to put both of these into smoothing group two. And the back side is three. So this single poly here. I'm going to make it a three. And then, let's see what happens. 
happen. Okay, so problem's fixed here, and you can see on the other side, there's a, there's a shading error. If I get rid of edged faces, it becomes a lot more obvious. You can see here now that's the side I worked on is fine. Okay, so let's go back up here and let's do a symmetry. And of course, there we go. I I had selected the wrong thing. Okay, so I need to flip it and seal this in. Point zero one. All right. So those two issues are gone. So now I want to work on this. Um, on the intake here at the front of the cowl. And to facilitate that, I want to I'm gonna grab these these verts and I'm going to move them along an edge using constraints and move that up to the front. Oh, what did I do wrong here? Ah, I've discovered a mistake. That's fine. Up here, you can see this is stretching away. That means there's double verts in that area. So, I'll target weld this back. And all is right again. Okay, so, now I'm going to figure out what's the what's the width that I'd like the um, intake to be. And uh, looking around uh, at, at pictures, it looks like looks like it's fairly narrow. Um, so I'm going to take the first step here, and I want to widen these out. so close to the detail next to it that uh, I might as well just weld right over. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to weld these guys all the way over. And we have created our space for the for the intake. The intake seems to be pretty square. So I'm going to move these outwards and let's get into a bottom orthographic view and by doing that I can use the aliasing that happens to the lines to get them looking right okay so that's pretty good so I'm going to grab the air intake and halfway into our curve here and I'm just going to extrude this out and let's, let's turn to the side. So, alright. Looks good. I'm going to use Alt-X to get a better idea of how far this needs to be. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to move it backwards. Alright, and then I'm going to move this up to the front corner aligns itself. Oh, I've done all that with edge constraints on, so that's why that, that messed up on me. Turn the edge constraints on. to uh, make these planar so they're nice and flat and I'm going to make this these two planar okay all right so I'm going to take this opportunity to bevel um, bevel these two edges here so I'm going to go into edge and let me so we can see what we're doing. And 
going to use the chamfer tool here. Let's create two. Squeeze it down nice and tight. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to target weld some things up. Only I want to target weld in vert mode. I'm going to target weld this all back up on the back side. And to tell you the truth, I'm going to do just that first set. And then I'm going to move the rest up and see what happens to our bevel our chamfer that we've made here. Okay. Okay, so now I'll just target well this guy's down here. left to do is to deselect anything but these four verts and we'll just pull this up to meet a straight edge scale tool here to get this nice and square. Okay, so now the intake from that point um, we need to create an intake so I'm going to select those two polys and do an inset and it, one is too much so I'm going to pull this in. That's good. I'm going to go to the interactive extrude and just drag backwards on this so, and as a final piece here, I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to grab these parts here, make sure I haven't selected anything else, and drag these up until they're straight. And then, I'll grab these guys. So that's an intake, and with uh, got this nice rounded side here. So let's let's go ahead and give it a give it some smoothing groups. I'm going to select these interior pieces because uh, sorry these interior pieces and the exterior, and put them into the same smoothing group since they don't contact one another. So I'm just selecting all this stuff here. Let's clear that selection out. We'll put this in a smoothing group uh, two, and then we'll select all these here, and we'll put those into smoothing group three. Okay. So now there's just a few little flow issues that I'd like to settle. Um, Let's just select these two guys and drag them out. Matter of fact, now let's let's go ahead and weld those over. Might as well reduce the polys if we can. And then let's even this angle out. Just so there's some flow happening. So that's that part. Uh, it seems like I may have made this wrong. 
just by a little bit. Ah, that's what's going on. I have moved this corner up somehow. So I'm just going to drag the corner down. Uh, yeah. Let's drag this corner right down. There we go. Um, wow. I don't know how I've missed this here, but somehow I have. So I'm going to hit Alt X. And. Okay, that's fine. I see what's going on. Alright, so that's better. And. and put this into perspective and do a render of that area. Uh, having a lot of problems with using Camtasia in this. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. Um, you may have noticed a mistake and that is that I put this entire inner ring of polys in the same smoothing group. That's going across 90 degree angles here, so that's not going to do. So I'm going to put this in group 4. And that should improve the results. There's no shadowing on it now. Okay, so our cowling comes all the way back to this line. So I'm going to create an opening here. Um, that uh, will work for exhaust, so. Um, let me go ahead and connect. And I'll use this slide to come forward, like so. I'm gonna grab these two outer guys and slide them down. These two guys, slide them down a little bit just to create a curve, like so. Okay, and I'm going to grab these inner polys and inset, inset them a bit. Uh, that ought to work, like so. Move this down. And I'm going to add a little vert across from the ends here. Like that. And go to vertex and select these two and connect. These two and connect. And then um, I'm going to target weld everything back. So I just wanted to create that extra lip there. Okay. I'm going to take these guys here and I'm just going to scale them in so it completes that curve just a little better. And then that, of course, affects how this looks. Like so. And to be complete, I need to select this vert here and all the way back, just so that we have a four sided poly. Oh. Connect, there we go. Um. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab just these polys here. And I'm going to extrude those down. Like so. Um lower this down here like so. 
and put a little rotation on it. A little something like so. Okay, now back to vertex and target weld this back side back up. Like so. These guys. Let's rotate this more now. I'm going to left orthographic. Use the move tool to straighten this up. I'm, I've went off the reservation a little bit, but all the all the pictures that I've seen. show this looking more like this, so... And uh, we can delete this out if we want. Um, but only will we, I would only be willing to do that um, if we're going to create a firewall, so let's do that. We'll delete this out. And then I'm going to select oh, sorry, all of all of these polys, make sure that I got everything. Make sure that I got these little guys here. And before I do that, I need to target weld this this guy back in on both sides. This is the bottom one. Okay, great. And back to polygon selection. Now, I'm not going to select these these edges here. And I'm going to detach this. Like so. So then what I'm going to do is take these take these polys here, and I'm going to delete them. Because we're going to create an actual opening, and we don't need those to, uh, to be there anymore. So I'm going to select this border, and just cap it off. That needs to be set into a smoothing group. So we'll give it, give it two. No, let's not give it two. Let's give it three. Yep, that worked. And uh, this could give us a hard time. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to grab this border and I'm just going to scale in like so. Then I'll hold control and click on the vertex icon and collapse into a center point. Okay, and just to make sure that it's nice and flat, I'm going to select this vertex here, hold control and select poly, that will give me every, every face there, and I'll just make it planar, just to make sure it's nice and flat. Okay. So now we have an opening, we could put a motor in there if we wanted to, we can do many different things. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another thing we need to do is smoothing groups for this extrusion that I've made. So, pick these guys both on the inside now. And put them into smoothing group. Smoothing group 2. And we'll ride along this here. Put that in smoothing group three. All right. So, um, what else can we do here? Um, so we got those extrusions done. I think now it's time to probably change the shape of this cowl a little bit to reflect uh, how the cowl really is. 
So, hit Alt X and all right, my reference isn't working well here. So, I'm going to hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to grab this edge here of the cowl. connect between the two. And let me slide slide that up. I'm gonna grab the vert and square this up. Like so. Take this guy and with edge constraints on slide it down to me right there and I'll connect these two like so and I'm going to take this guy like so and I'm going to have to use the cut tool to go across these two Ah, tricky, tricky. So I'm going to assume I don't really need that. <laughs> oh. Slide this back over. And I'm going to turn constraints off and just actually push this down. There we go. And I'll even some of this out. And I'm going to create a, a, a wider cowl here wire cowl opening anyways. And it's pretty handy because we can just can just move these edges as needed. It doesn't have to follow the fuselage any longer. Just gonna create something nice and round like this way. These guys up. These guys up. I'll go to this vert here. Pull it in, and I'm gonna pull this vert in a little bit. Just gonna do some evening here. Evening. Yeah. Just realized I had gum. Probably driving in from nut nuts with that. Okay, and um, I think what I want to do is to create a small edge here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this edge, and I'm gonna chamfer that edge just a little, and put it a little doubler right there. And then this has to be cleaned up because that's a failure of Max. So I want to uh, target well over to the next part. Okay, or not. Um, of course I'm going to have a hard time now. There we go. And target well these up here like so. 
Okay, and I'm going to put that that little poly into its own smoothing group. Put this into two. And we'll see what that did for us. Okay, so that's uh, achieved what the look I'm going for. A little bit of a crease here where they bowed the metal out. Uh, so that works for me. So, something else has happened here. I've lost the, this vertex inside. Okay, and I'm also going to take everything on this edge here, right like so, and I'm just going to expand that in all directions, and I'm also going to pull it back over the fuse a little bit, so there's an overlap, that looks good, okay. So the last thing I can do here is to even out my little crease I made just to make sure it's right. So I'm going to select just the bottom ones along here and that guy. And I'm going to scale it flat. Then I'm going to grab these ones here. Scale them flat as well. up. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to slide this down to match the drawing. This needs to get slid down just a bit more. There, now we have, now we have something that's a little separated. Okay, and then we need to create a little thickness, so I'm going to hide unselected. Probably would help quite a bit if I firstly uh, detached a few objects here, or a few parts of this. So I'm going to go around grabbing all the polys involved in this scoop. just take quite a little while. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to detach this for now. Same thing here. I select, oops, select all of this. And the inside. that. And then lastly, I'm going to oops, grab these guys, grow, and I'm going to detach that as well. Okay, so I'm going to hide unselected. And you'll see that we're left with the basic cowl. And from this basic cowl, I need to do a symmetry which always gives me a hard time flip that 0.01 okay and I need to collapse that and um, I'm going to grab the shell modifier which I, I have here but of course it's going to be in your modifier list so we'll shell this and I want to shell this in the inner amount. So as I drag this up, we'll get an inner thickness and an inner set of polys. Okay, so um, 
next step into in, in solving this issue here is to collapse and you'll get an edible mesh after you do uh, a shell operation. So now what I want to do is go to polygons and I'm going to select the thickness of these polys right here. Okay, same thing here. And then the same thing up there, but I'm going to delete these first. And I'll just use the shift select method to delete these guys. Shift select. Delete. I'll unhide everything. And then I'm going to attach these portions again. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna unhide. I'm gonna hide everything else but this. Okay. Now I'm going to select across the border here, and I grab all of these, and I'm gonna weld these up. So I'm gonna go to point point one here. And that should weld those together pretty nicely. Go back to the border. This border here. And go to vert selection. Now I, I realize I have these verts selected, but it's they're just unimportant. Uh, so a weld again. We've lost seven verts. That seems to make sense to me. So that's good. I'm gonna okay that. And last but not least, we'll grab across these borders here. Control clicking there, and welding. We'll lose another 30 verts there. That's a nice quick way to. Uh, okay, that's a nice quick way to get that all shelled out. Um, Then we can actually grab this border here and cap it. And we can grab uh, that there and cap that. And then we'll grab. Well, that, that should be fine in there. I'm just capping these off. And now I'm just going to connect some verts across here to finish the connection the shape. Okay, so it looks like I have some shading errors. I'm not really sure why, but oh yeah, and I'll finish this connection like so, and use the cut tool to cut across here. Okay. That should look a lot nicer already. So I'm going to unhide. And I'm going to run a render on this. At maybe an angle like this. Alright, so I think that looks pretty good. You can see here in the render, things look pretty nice. The uh, crease here for the bump out looks nice, I think. Uh, the intake turned out well. We'll be able to use the color scheme, excuse me, to put a screen right here, some sort of a grill. We'll end up adding some exhaust pipes right here, probably just two pipes. And, um, alright, so, next thing I want to do is I'm going to grab these two guys and move this up and center it. And we're going to make it so these wires are just passing right through the uh, torpedo there. So that looks good. And I also noticed in renders that uh, I've got some polygroups a little messed up right here. Some smoothie groups messed 
messed up. So I'm going to go to this here. I'm going to select all of these polys that were created. During the the, uh, the making of the wing, I select all this stuff here. Put them in the same smooth here. It should be one. One should still be the one to put them in. Uh, see, yep, there's a lot, bunch of different smooth groups here. Put that into one, and they all blend together real nice. Okay. Um, and to tell you the truth. The, there's re really no need for all of these edges on um, loop this on the fuselage itself. They make no difference. So I'm just going to take that out. Okay, bring everything back, and uh, I'd like to put a little curve, a little. Uh, tab on the end of these that will hold the bolt that holds the wing on. So I'm just going to work with the one and I go into edge and I'm going to bring out the slice plane and I want to bring the I'm going to reset the slice plane here. This is a nice little tool. You can, you can pretty much zero it out like so actually if you go up further from the, the manipulator it gets easier to do that's nice and straight that's good and then I'm gonna move the slice plane upwards so that I'm cutting into into this section here like so Okay, and then I'm going to hit slice, and that will actually put the line in it. I can turn the slice plane off now. And I'm going to hide unselected. I'm going to grab the polys above this and delete those. And then I'm going to pull these. Well, no, I'm not going to pull the edges down. I'm just going to connect these two, I think. Alright, slide. Slide this up. Doesn't quite match up, but I'll fix that with edge constraints. Drag that up like so. And I'm going to use the cut tool and cut this straight across. That looks fairly good, just have to drag it down a little bit. Okay. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab these polys here and extrude out. Just want a little extrusion. I can see now that this is quite fat. So now I'm going to pull them up. Oops. Pull up on these guys. I'm going to this view. I told you some of this work is finicky for sure. I'm going to pull these tabs out. That's good. And. I don't want to pull this member up right here. I don't want to pull this vert, so I'm just going to create a new vert right here. And um, yeah, I'm going to create this cut, another cut here in a vertex mode. So I want to cut from here to here like so. And then if I just target weld back like that, now I've got it, got it separated thusly. Uh, I need 
to collapse this. There we go, now I can move it up. And I'm going to select all of these. Pull them up nice and flat. Like so. Same thing over here. So I'll pull them up. About like that. There we go. And then I'm going to grab these edges here. into this back view, zoom in, turn off the edge constraints and square this up. And another way to do that would be to scale them all flat. So now we'll just unhide everything and see that we've got I'm going to take these guys and make sure that no constraints is on. And then we're just going to slide this up and slide it over a little bit just to keep it square. And then I'm going to grab all of these guys here and slide them out. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now that means I can probably take this guy and slide him down and he'll sit right here on the same position and right and then I'm going to go into verts and I'm going to pull all of these verts upward like so I'll delete this guy here and slide a copy over. Doo -doo -doo. Like so. Okay. And that just makes it fit so that they'll they'll bolt right on that same in that same position. Okay. <clears throat> and um, these are in the wrong position in my opinion. I'm actually going to lift both of them up, like so, and um, yeah, let me select just the one. I'm really flailing right now. Uh, I'm going to select all of these guys here. right in, nice and tight. Yep, 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 yep. That guy like that. Just let it intrude into the side of the fuse there, just like so. And now it appears these are all wrong. Pull them down. Delete this guy. And move this one over. About the width of. Same width as the others. Okay, and now I'm going to move this this guy back into center on both of these. Something like that. That looks good. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. Select all this and use the working pivot and do a copy. All right, so those look a little better. And the reason I lifted this here is because we're going to be separating the two halves of this uh, this gear out so that we'll get uh, a, an animated flex to happen. Uh, and that means that we'll need a seam on each corner. And I, I usually do a little trick to make it look a little nicer. Uh, 
so you don't get any bad edges when it rotates. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do right now before I move into doing some naming and things like that. Um, I only got about 10 minutes left on this hour, so I don't think I'm going to get into the, the naming and pivots yet. Um, I'm going to hold off on any cockpit de detail or anything like that and try to do a first run on this entire model. So, okay. No, I think that's about all we're going to do for this one. I don't know if we really get that much done, but she's looking a lot better. So I'll do a, I'll, I'll do a render and then um, we'll go to the next video. So uh, turn this on. All right, turn on some safe frames. So that's what it looks like rendered. I'm getting close. Let's kind of move around the picture here. The tabs look nice. I can see I forgot to copy over the that brace, so I'll do that, and then it'll be done here. So we'll do the working pivot thing and do a copy. See you in the next one.